Krishna dear souls, welcome back for another session of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation. Um, this is a way in which we can go deep into our heart. You know, all around us are ways that we can go um, deeper into um, body stimulation, you know, and mental stimulation. And we find that all of these kinds of stimulations, they last for maybe five seconds, or maybe a little bit more than five seconds, and we're innocent because, you know, we're not taught anything different, um, other than the bodily stimulations and the mental, or mind in other words, dear souls, stimulations, if that makes sense, I'm sorry if it doesn't, dear souls, out there in the world, who are present here with me right now, um, yeah, and so this process of expressing the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra comes from a very ancient and sacred culture. Um, that's all about rediscovering who you really are, which is soul, beyond body and mind. Um, it's a really beautiful process. Um, it can be really overwhelming as well, just because, so I won't say because, so much comes up within the process, but at the same time, this mantra, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, it soothes you at the same time. So while you may experience a lot of things through this meditation, you know, naturally you get soothed anyway, whereas so many other things in the world you find that, or at least, sorry, I'm going to say, or at least in my experience, they weren't very soothing, you know, they'd provide a little bit of a buzz, but in terms of actually feeling nourished in the end, you know, not at all in my experience. So this is something to try, so I'm going to say something, dear souls, to try if that makes sense. Um, I'm sorry if it doesn't, dear souls. Uh, yeah, to give a go um, in a way that's most comfortable, that's really important. Um, there's a great quote, and I'm just going to paraphrase here, by this great saint and soul, His Holiness Devanita Swami, he says that um, love cannot be forced, or there's no force in real love, or genuine love, and that is very true, you know, for example, if I were to, I'm not going to, don't worry, but if I were to pin someone up, let's just say, for example, against the wall, and I then said to them, love me, love me, love me, you know, are they going to love me? I don't think so. Or they may say they do, just to get out of the situation. Um, so this is actually um, force, and that just leads to destruction. So a lot of things we do generally, just because we've been taught or told to do them, without questioning. And I never questioned, so I wouldn't blame anyone else for not questioning. So I would say, not questioning either, if that makes sense, serious though. Ah, oh, <laughs> dear souls, sorry to say, I'm sorry if it doesn't, dear souls. Um, please forgive me, dear souls, out there in the world, for all of my mistakes. Um, and that is also a very common thing with us as human beings. We make mistakes, so that should be expected. It's not that, you know, once one starts, generally speaking, this process of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation, that everything's just going to be perfect and rainbows and unicorns and sunflowers and sunny days. No, they will be there, you know. Um, but no, you will make mistakes, big and small, and it's a matter of learning as well. Okay, I tried this and this happened, and I can see that that's not so good for me, you know, on my journey of meditation or on your journey, um, more specifically of meditation, of rediscovering who you really are, of going deep into your heart and cleaning the mind, you know, that's what I meant to say, because the mind is described in the ancient yoga meditation wisdom, these ancient texts from ancient India, is actually quite a dirty place, um, because of everything that has entered into it, even if you've lived as long as I have, which is 25 years, that's 25 years of things going into the mind, good and bad, you know, on the material level. Um, but they all have a, as I meant to say, they all have an effect, as far as I'm aware, on 
our consciousness, our conscious awareness, in other words, of who we are genuinely and of the world around us. You know, it just dims the consciousness more and more. So this mantra meditation, this Hare Krishna Maha mantra meditation, it's a way of um, reopening your awareness and brightening up, if that makes sense, dear souls out there in the world, your awareness of um, everything around you and everything inside you as well. Um, so it's really something to uh, explore if you feel so inclined um, to give a go if it's comfortable for you to do so. Um, it's really a precious uh, method by which, you know, you're becoming conscious of soul beyond this vehicle that is body and this other subtle vehicle that is mind. Um, and your taste then for the meditation increases more and more. Um, so the pleasure you derive from the meditation over time, you naturally go deeper and deeper and deeper. And because of that, taste that you once had, um, they diminish, you know. So it could be that someone was addicted to coffee or watching movies or watching television shows or addicted to other kinds of videos out there in the world, if you all know what I mean. Um, you know, and it's never a process of, okay, now I must feel bad about myself and my situation because this is how I am and this is what I'm doing. No, you simply acknowledge and take ownership of how you are right now. And then, so I'm going to say, then simply add the mantra, this Hare Krishna Maha mantra, into your life very slowly and gradually, or in a way that's most comfortable for you. And then everything naturally changes from there. You know, repression, it leads to something probably more dangerous than what you're going to do, but, so I'm going to say, to begin with, if that makes sense to yourselves out there in the world. Um, I'm sorry if it doesn't, dear souls out there in the world. Um, yeah, so it really is a natural process and it should be a natural process and it should be approached in that way. That is my recommendation anyway. Um, never a matter of repression. It's a very slow and gradual process. Um, yeah, and what matters most is how much heart you give this process of meditation. So we'll go into some Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation, musical style, that's my preference. I apologize to anyone who's present with me now um, who doesn't like music, but um, even if you don't like music, this mantra, mantra simply means to free the mind. Um, it um, can be this mantra, so I'm saying, sorry for that pause, dear souls out there in the world. Um, this mantra can be hummed, thought, shouted, screamed, sung, talked, um, I think I've covered it, so I would say everything, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what, um, abilities or facilities you either have or don't have, um, you know, this process and method is not dependent on any of that, you know, why? Because we could be in situations where we lose all of our facility, you know. People do um, uh, end up in these kinds of situations sometimes. And one can still go on, you know, thinking even this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So for those of you who don't know what this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed so I would say so for the burp to souls out there in the world. Um, it's comprised and constructed into a 16 named sentence. And so I'll say it either once or twice or three times or more than three times, I'm not sure yet. So it goes, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And I'll say it one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And it's okay if you haven't gotten the hang of it yet. 
Um, it's a matter of simply easing yourself into this meditation in a way that's most comfortable. You know, everyone is actually quite fragile. You know, people may appear to be like, oh, you know, like they've got it together and maybe they have big muscles, therefore they can go, oh, you know, or maybe they have no hair, so they look scary. I don't know. But, um, you know, appearance is really paper thin. Um, it's about investing your heart into something that will then expand your heart. Um, matter cannot do that, according to the ancient yoga meditation text in ancient India. You know, if I were to invest my heart into my bedroom, for example, you know, the heart is not going to expand. This is what the ancient yoga meditation texts of ancient India um, claim and explain, and there's a very elaborate and intricate science behind it as well, which I won't go into right now, um, but um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, put down some book references for those of you who like to read or to acquire knowledge, but really, reading or not reading knowledge, um, it's, 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 I would say it is really simply a matter of applying this core meditational process um, and then you get the realization anyway. So, yeah, it's a full package. So we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation. And I'll start in a musical style, singing style. And I'm going to use my hands as instruments, because I have no other instruments. So we'll begin. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hey, hey, hey. 
Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hari Rama 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 Hari Hare Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Ah Krishna Krishna Ah Hare Hare Hey Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna, ah, 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 Krishna, ah, ah, Krishna, Krishna, ah, 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 Krishna, away Krishna, 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 away Hare, away Rama, away Rama. Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Hare Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare Hey Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hey, Hare Ram. I'm sorry to so that last bit wasn't even a mantra, but um, yeah, thank you so much for participating with me, hearing us participating, singing with me, participating, anything, you know, um, any kind of engagement uh, that you're able to uh, have with me is just as much of an engagement as any other way, um, in my opinion. Anyway, you know, this is really a hard process. It's purifying and cleansing the heart. And we might think, you know, my heart doesn't need purifying, thank you very much, or cleansing or cleaning. Um, well, we can look at our behaviors and our thoughts and our feelings and just analyze them for a moment. And um, when we do that, we can also take note of the fact that all of these things about ourselves they correspond with our heart, actually, in the state of our heart. And this is not something to feel guilty about or ashamed about, if that makes sense to ourselves out there in the world, or to feel bad about. Um, you know, you simply recognize, you know, is the way I'm behaving satisfying me? You know, you don't even have to think about anyone else initially, you know, um... Is it serving me? Um, is the way I'm feeling, is that satisfying me or is that serving me? Um, in other words, if that makes sense to your souls out there in the world, you know, is the way I'm thinking, is that serving me? Um, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation is described as the, as far as I'm aware and can remember, it's described as the purest way to serve the real self, which is soul, beyond body and mind. And then we might think, well, how does that relate to the rest of me? You know, it transforms everything else. That's how it relates. You know, um, so many things I used to do and so many feelings I used to have and so many thoughts I used to have, you know, they just created like black holes almost, if that makes sense, dear souls out there in the world. I'm sorry if it doesn't, dear souls out there in the world. I apologize, dear souls out there in the world. Um, yeah, and it wasn't benefiting me or anyone else around me. You know, maybe at the same time that all of that was going on, I could maybe make people laugh sometimes. I could give hugs to people. I could smile. You know, I could put on a smile. I'm going to say sorry to ourselves out there in the world. If that makes sense to ourselves out there in the world. I'm sorry if it doesn't do ourselves out there in the world. Um, uh, you know, all of these things I could do. But on the inside, I wasn't there. I wasn't present and I wasn't feeling it. And it wasn't genuine. Um, and all of the time, I was simply doing it for my own temporary pleasure. I wasn't doing it for them, you know, if I'm really honest with myself. And so this is the way to go deeper than all of that, you know. Um, we can just think about the people that might be around us right now, friends or family, you know, um, as the way that we interacted with them today. Was that actually for them and only for them or was it just for myself, you know? Um, or anyone really, you know, you might not have friends and family around you, but 
you know, it's pretty impossible to not engage with people or interact with people in some way, you know, even just brushing shoulders with someone across the street that is um, like a connection, basically. So maybe I looked at them a certain way or thought about them in a certain way. Was that for my own selfish, temporary, you know, pleasure? Or was it serving them in any way? So this is a way to go beyond all of that, rise above all of that, all of the matter, so to speak, that simply produces um, feelings of loneliness and, um, you know, anxiety and depression and all of these things that might be masked even as elation temporarily, you know? So this is a way to get real, to be real and genuine. Hare Krishna to my souls. Thank you for your participation, for your kind um, presence. You know, I really appreciate it. Hare Krishna.